Hi guys, welcome back to this tutorial. Today I will teach you how to use Telnet alternatively. You know that most people use Telnet to get remote shell to Cisco switches or some Linux machines or something else. But today I will show the alternative way of using that command. Say we have a web server which doesn't respond to our web request or at least we can't see anything in web browser and want to check if the server is alive and can and can uh, reply us with some HTTP messages. So we will type the telnet, the server name or IP address and the port the server is listening on. We can see that can see we can see anything actually now we can see anything actually now because because I guess that GoDaddy is tuned so so it will not respond to our web requests no I'm mistaken is it alive? Let's check if Cisco or home is alive. Actually, it's not. Which is okay, okay, okay. Cisco Armenia dot com. Cisco Armenia dot com. I guess I've lost my internet connection. Yes, as you can see, okay, okay, it's come, it's came back. As you can see, my internet connection was lost. This is interesting. Now we can see the usefulness of MTR and D commands. And let's come back to, let's go back to our telnet. Okay. We see the response of web server. It says that we are connected to ciscoarmenia.com and let's send some invalid request to web server. It answers us, it gives us HTTP answer with some HTML code and it said that we have set invalid HTTP request and response is the end, the code of response is this guy here. So this is the other method of using telnet command. You can do this with any port to check for example if we have SSH server listening on ciscoarmenia.com cannot telnet can connect to telnet connect to others connection refused. The server refuses our SSH request. Let's try just SSH edit at ciscoarmenia.com. It should refuse connection in this way too. Okay, the connection if we refused, so we can say that in this case, this command is the same like this command. We can do this with every every port you can actually use other command called other utility called nmap to nmap to figure out the open to grab the open ports on particular servers cisco armenia.com and practice this with that open ports on particular web server so guys as we can see we have several open ports several filter ports on ciscoarmenia.com so we can we can tickle some applications running on this on that server let's try this one which i don't have idea what is 
maybe it will give us some information what application listens to listens on this port on that server I guess this is also a also a web server but I'm mistaken this is not we have no any answer yet okay guys it's getting boring see you in the next video of this series and maybe we'll get answer what application listening on this port on cisco see you soon